Welcome to Countals. In this lesson, we'll be looking at depreciation and how to account for it in the journal entry and also in the statement of financial position. Now, there are links in the description below. One will lead you to a video which explains different depreciation terms, which will be very helpful in understanding depreciation in general. And another will lead you to a video which uh, has examples of how to calculate depreciation using the straight line method and the diminishing balance method. But here we'll simply look at how to account for it in the journal entry and the statement of financial position or balance sheet. Now here's a quick example. Depreciation for equipment bought on the 1st of January 2017 was 6,000 rand at year end. Now we're assuming this is the year end 2017, December that is. So how do we record it using the journal entry? Well we know that depreciation is an expense and expenses increase on the debit side. So our first account is depreciation and the amount there is 6,000 rand. So when you put depreciation uh, in the journal entry you are referring to depreciation which relates to this period and this period alone and what is the contra account the contra account is accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account or also known as negative asset account so accumulated depreciation and i'll put the equipment always good to explain what the accumulated depreciation relates to because accumulated depreciation can relate to any fixed asset and 6,000 rand and that's it that's simply how you account for, for depreciation using the general entry that's how you record it no accumulated depreciation is all the depreciation that relates to an asset for its useful life uh, or for until the asset is sold and we'll understand more when we come to the uh, to the statement of financial position and how to record it there so that is how you account for depreciation for a specific period. Now, how do we record it in the statement of financial position at year end for December 2017? Well, we know that we put depreciation at cost. How much did you buy the depreciation or purchased it for? I'm sorry, how much did you purchase the equipment for? You purchased it. So let's assume you purchased it for 60,000 rand. We'll put the actual cost of the equipment at 60,000 rand. That's why I put it in brackets, the equipment at cost. And then you would also put the accumulated depreciation which relates to equipment and this is all the accumulated depreciation for the the the, the equipment for this year and for any other year now here we wrote, uh, the description says uh, depreciation for equipment was bought on the 1st of january which is this specific period so we only have 6000 rand of depreciation if the equipment was bought last year in january we'd have 6000 rand for last year and 6000 rand for this year and we put them together which will make them 12000 rand but in this case, we just have 6,000 rand because it was bought this year. So accumulated depreciation in the statement of financial position is all the depreciation that relates to that asset. And it will, it will accumulate until the asset is fully depreciated or until the asset is sold. So here we'll have a negative 6,000 rand. And that's it. So we know that equipment now will decrease by 6,000 rand as a result of depreciation or accumulated depreciation which will continue to accumulate, like I said. I hope that has helped. That was a quick example on how to account for depreciation in the general entry and the statement of financial position. Till next time, cheers.